They come a little train from Mariana Maravilla, right here in the heart of Maravilla, right here, right off of Ford and uh, Humphreys, East, East Los Angeles. And which uh, Maravilla neighborhood is this one? This is Mariana. Mariana is one of the larger areas in terms of t turf or territory. Can you tell us about the extent of your neighborhood? Yeah, well, we got a pretty big stretch of land. We're over here. We consider ourselves from uh, all the way from 3rd Street down to Atlantic, down to Whittier, down to Eastern. At what age did you start um, learning about Mariana, Maravilla, and start getting influenced? Like, how, what, what oh, was that wow. like? Damn, I've been learning. All my uncles, my tios are from Mariana, so fuck, since I was a little baby, fucking, I already knew, you know, it's like, Second nature, you know, I see the homies in front in the front yard, in the house, birthday parties, baptisms. It was, you know, it was, we we're born to this shit. So since I was a little a little kid, you know. What about um directly uh, your parents? What was their what was their role, if any, in in the Mariana? Well my, my my mom was she ain't from nowhere and you know, she grew up around the homies and stuff and her homegirls. Some of her friends are from the barrio, but my mom never got into it. My mom, you know more like just, you know, more into school and shit like that. But uh, my pops wasn't in the picture. So basically anything that got influenced from this, from the homies and from my uncles, you know. What was your mom's reaction when she started to see that influence on you? Yeah, she didn't really react to it. Like, it was more like, it was just more like she kind of knew what was coming, you know. She could see it. You could, at a certain age, when you turn a teenager, you could tell she you already know, you know, like, anything she just, like, Make sure that you, that I watch myself, that I take care of myself, and anything you know, and you know what you know what kind of life you want to live. And you know, she wasn't really no big lectures or nothing like that. You know. Tell us about um, this corner. Uh, what significance does Ford and Hem Humphreys Ave have for you? Well, for me, it's more like this is more like just a spot of just to like where the homies. We got the coldest beer right there on the Ford Market. You know, it's funny because Ford is actually an enemy neighborhood, but. This street is in our barrio, but more like uh, it's just another street. Over the years, there's been at least 20 different uh, Maravilla neighborhoods, but you just mentioned that yeah. Ford is a rival. Yeah. Uh, not all the Maravillas even get along. Right. Um, in your generation, uh, talk about yeah. what that was like. Well, it's kind of funny when when I got into the to the neighborhood, they told me said, you, "Damn, you got in at a bad time," you know. And it pretty much it was true because I got in during the green light. And uh, the green light was, you know, fucking on site with us. All neighborhoods that didn't even know who we were or know what we were about came down and tried, and tried to uh, eliminate us. And so it was kind of like a bad time. And it was like, you know, it was on site. You know, we just, it was just straight gangbang. You, it's one thing to have to worry about the barrios that are around you, but it's another thing when you have to worry about, like, everybody, you know? You, got, you ain't got no allies you know you're just on your own you know so at, a, at, at some at some point the maravillas we did stick together for a little bit you know just just so we could uh hold the fort down right here as the years went by and it wasn't as the green light wasn't so strong Varios had to worry about their own fucking problems you know we started fucking having more 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 in-house violence with other maravillas you know so it wasn't as united no, the, the green light started, what was the green light start? 92, 93? 92. Oh. It started in 92. And then it ended about 2005, 6, you know. I've heard a lot of stories about different maravillas in the county jail having to hold it down and pretty much having to fight against everybody. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the link in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.